lightning crashing. This is a classic night. Look at that. Look at that smile. Cool. He's taking his motor out. And that's him. That's a nice fish. Hey there, welcome to Bike Club. It's late April and we are fishing today in Island Beach State Park, New Jersey. We're gonna be surf casting. I'm gonna drive my truck out onto the beach here and uh, there's been bluefish and striped bass everywhere this spring and uh, they're here kind of earlier than usual because we've had some warm weather but there's bait everywhere, that means there's fish everywhere. It's been, uh, been kind of a legendary spring so far. We're here at Grumpy's Bait and Tackle in Seaside Park, New Jersey, and they call it Grumpy's for a reason, because that's the owner, Grumpy, and he, uh, he lives up to his name. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good, man. How's the fishing? Excellent. Today. Yeah? Today? Yeah, right now. Blues, bunker, bass. Perfect. Well, some of those bass are hitting clams. You think they're yeah. hitting clams? Yeah. I would take some clams, there's fresh clams right in the afternoon. I'm getting fresh bunkers here for, uh, bluefish. Um, nice choice adult menhaden. Perfect bluefish breakfast. Nice tasty treats. Two bucks each though. It's for the bass, get some clams. And you gotta get those good chunks of That was that yeah. what we want? Yeah, eight O's. Perfect wide gap to hook those bunker. We lost we lost about a thousand and a half rigs two days ago on the bluefish, so you wanna have as many hooks <laughs> as you can possibly get. Get some of these weights, hatter sinkers, style sinkers, so they hold the ground. I'd get eights too, Nick. Yeah, you want to get eights? The four of these eights, six is the eights. And the grumpy one himself, grumpy. <laughs> I'm rolling around in the back of the truck with the bunker. That's the only way he'll smell like a fish. <laughs> you can see here, the last few days, these guys have been claiming fish. I think I'm on there. Oh, yeah. And then you got, uh, there's Monday. There's Mickey, so you know we're not lying. 34 inch, 12 pounds, 15 ounces, bunker. Mailman even catches fish. Man. Yeah, <laughs> once in a while. How you doing? How'd it go? Nice. Right. How you doing, Nick? Thank you very much. Any advice, Paul? Or? Oh, just fish everywhere, Nick. Good day to fish. Good day. Fish everywhere. Good day to fish. <laughs> see about that. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. We'll see, see you later, later, man. Take care, guys. Good news is going off everywhere they say, they're saying which it has been for the last couple days bluefish and bass everywhere so keep your fingers crossed <laughs> well, this is one of our favorite places to fish at island beach and uh this is my favorite way to catch these fish too is from the surf there's just something about it it's like the fairest fight in all of fishing it's just you standing in front of the ocean kind of trying to read the beach and the structure underneath the water and, and when it goes well it's like the greatest feeling in the world. So uh, hopefully we'll have some good luck today. Conditions are a little bit brutal, but that's pretty typical for this time of year and this kind of fishing. So we're, we're about to enter the gatehouse here. Gotta pay the fee. So our next order of business here is uh, we gotta air down. The sand is really, really soft right now. So I'm gonna air down from about 40 pounds to about 15. Put it in four wheel drive. How long, how long is Island Beach? Like 16 miles or something? 14 miles of pristine, totally protected dunes and wildlife area that New Jersey uh, was lucky enough to preserve. Look, a fox, a fox, 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 fox in the road, fox in the road. <laughs> Check him out, dude. Here. Salt weary mangy fox. <laughs> What's up, big daddy? Hey, buddy. Wow. That's nice that we got visited by a fox. You see them all the time out yeah. here. That's good luck on Island Beach State Park is finding the indigenous foxes. They bring good luck, they know where the fish are. Yeah, they, sometimes they know where your bait are too. You'll be fishing <laughs> at night and you'll turn around right. and one will be sitting there with uh, your bait in his mouth. These are automatic tire deflators. To get, your, get your tires down to where you want it to be. Otherwise it takes an hour without these things. Just gotta wait it out. 
Check it with the gauge. We're ready to rumble. Four wheel drive action. Put some four wheel low. And we're there it off. goes. Click. Let's see, like, this is almost like paradise. Seeing the horizon come over. Let's see 10,000 birds blowing up on vapor. This is the great Atlantic Ocean off the Jersey coast. Water looks good. We've got a little chop, northwest chop. Guys fishing already. Blues are busting everywhere. Call this the Punisher. Without this mallet, these bluefish will rip the rods right out of the sand and drag your rod off into the water. Some little things like this. Couldn't fish without this. Now that sounds hard to believe, but bring all the baits down, get it close to our setup. Windy enough today. Majorly sandblasted. Woo. Cut these into chunks like this. Both bluefish and striped bass love this. It sucks to be a bunker. Everything in the ocean loves to eat this actually. Very simple rig. We're using braided line, or I am. I have 50 pound braid, braided line on each reel. Very simple rig tied to a 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. The hook in the middle, it's about a three foot length of leader. The hook's tied on with a dropper loop. You hook the bunker right above the spine like this. That's it. That's, our, that's both our striped bass and our bluefish rig. But uh, shucking clams right now. Bass seem to like this stinky clams here and uh, I'm going to try the old clam witch. Clam bunker clam sandwich. See what we can do. Bunker heads bleeding all over the place. Horror show. Quick, quick! Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> I had to set the hook. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah, real, real. He's coming out. There he is. Yeah, there he is. I had to set the hook, otherwise he would have been gone. Nice work, brother. All it takes is to go back to the truck. <laughs> there he is. We got the bunker school right in front of us right now. We got a double header. We still got two lines in the water. Oh, big blue! Bluefish! I get your hands around these guys. Especially this is a call this guy a slammer size blue. One of those larger size blue fish. See that pretty, pretty old face it is. <laughs> There's more where these came from. 
Right over here we got gannets and seagulls diving. They're all diving on big bunker schools right now. And the bluefish are pushing them up, devouring them and destroying them from below. And it's incredible. All we need is for that, that pile of bunker right there to move right here to us at the shore. It's a dream spot. Look, there's bunker right in the surf. <laughs> Another big dog. Big dog blue. Got to go over this line through the others. They're chopping away. Getting destroyed by bluefish. Another nice <laughs> Jersey blues. Bluefish! <laughs> now these bad boys, they come through early, every spring they come through on their spring migration up along the Jersey coast. And they're usually racers, which means they're thin and skinny. But these ones that we've been getting this spring are nice and fat. That means they've been eating well. Now we're gonna eat well. <laughs> We had a place picked out here at Island Beach today called the Burnt Log. Voila. Bass and bluefish at the Burnt Log. Don't try and find it, it won't be here tomorrow. Tide's taking it away. Fish on! Ugh. Get him! Oh, he's Get on! Him. He's on again! <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah! Well, the fish are. Operating with us, I was gonna say. Oh man! Did he snap you off or did you? I don't know. We'll find out. Shoot! And I do mean shoot. He might have busted me off on that one. That is so disheartening. Get all amped up. A bluefish will tear you right down. We went through about 30, 40 hours worth of rigs two days ago. Nah, I just pulled the hook on him. Ah, oh, you can see right here. There's chafing on the line. That's how bluefish usually snap your line. I gotta change this whole rig out now, it stinks. But you gotta do it, you don't wanna lose a big fish. The low tide's dropping out. You can see the waves crashing on the bar. I'll be able to walk on that bar in about two hours and really cast far out there. Full moon, low tide. It can be your best friend or your worst enemy depending on what happens. <laughs> Get oh, that's the best! This, this is on the clam All right, line. take him. Oh, look at him on top! Holy sh hurt. You got it. I barely got any line left. Easy on him. Is it a blue? I don't know. It might be a bass. Keep up with him. Coming right towards us. Follow that line. Is he rooting down? Bass! Bass! Pull back! Striper! <laughs> Woo! That's the clam rod for a bass. Woo! <laughs> Sorry to fall. That's how it's done. Oh, shit. Beautiful fish. That's a striped bass. Moroni Saxatillus. Probably 26, 27. In Jersey, they have to be 28 inches to keep. See how beautiful these fish are? They're migrating up right now to spawn. These are the little guys. They have to be 30, 40, 50 pounds along the Jersey surf here. And now uh, we got the first one of the day. Really excited. We're going to tape them out. It's 28, dude. That's a keeper fish right here, 28 inches. You want bass for dinner? Yeah, it just makes sense. You want bass for dinner? Hell yeah. Straight bass, some of the best eating fish for dinner. Woo! And that's him. That's a... Yeah, that's a clam rod. Woo, could be another bass. Could be another striper. Mick, you be my leader, man. Oh, I see him. He's in the wave, second wave. There he is. He's coming back this way. Striper. Play the, you got to play the undertow. Play him on the next wave. I'll bring him up. Reel him back. Reel him back. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Another beauty. Look how fat that guy is, too. He's fat. <laughs> Bike club, baby. Well, I'm gonna start getting a popper and uh, try and pop these things up. 
Another big it's all yours, brother. But we got poppers here. We got plugs, metals. I'm gonna try and cast this popper out. It's a Gibbs popper, topwater popper. Mimics the bunker as they get chased out of the surf, up to the surface. There's bluefish right here, swimming by my feet in the surf. This is crazy. Oh, <laughs> nice blue, dog. Oh, another rod going down. Mix working double time. Oh, and I'm on. <laughs> blue dog again, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. He's got a lot of fight left in him. I got him in the low tide here now. I'm taking his motor out. As long as you get his head out of the water, usually you can beat him easier. And when you land the blue, when you're in the water, try and always get him by the tail first. Control him a little bit. And you always want to try and use single hooks when you're out popping because you don't want to screw around with treble hooks. You'll, you'll end up getting in your hand when they flip around on you. <laughs> that old boy. Woo! Bite Club Bluefish. And he's off to the races. Woohoo! Yeah. Let's go see what Mick's doing over here. There was a whole blitz move through here. They're they're blowing up bait right right at my feet. It's worth really. We had a big fish on the clam that I lost. Every single cast on that bar. You see him four or five at a time slurping it. Go get on that man. He's about, to, he's about to get in a world of hurt. He's on it! Ha. Ah. Go! I have dreams about days like this. Two casts, two fish, one got off. Stay tuned, Good. Bike Club will be right back. Oh. <laughs> Can't beat this. Classic. They're talking about shooting fish in a barrel, man. <laughs> this is close as it comes. Oh, he's just left for. Fight club and pencil pop and blue fish. Woo! Stop. <laughs> Woo. Look at these things do to the hooks. You can see what these things do to bait and tackle and lures. That's why tackle shop guys love bluefish. They just destroy everything. <laughs> but we're, we're destroying them today. Woo. Gotta bend the hook back into shape. That'll probably work. all those people down there, they're into that, they're into that back of fish. That's, that's the best, nothing gets any better. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Oh, one of life's ironic twists. Well, our truck is stuck in the sand. We're waiting for a record to come get us out. We're watching fish blow up in front of us, so Nick just grabbed the rod with a pencil popper on it. Bonus blues. I guess, you know, the only thing you can do when you're stuck in the sand is go blue fishing. One cast, one blue. After we gotta pay $200 for the record to drag us out, might as well be casting poppers. <laughs> Can't beat this. Look at the 
size of that thing. That's a big blue, dude. Biggest of the day by far. Look how fat this guy is. He's full of bunker. He's ready to rumble. <laughs> I can't even hold on to him. That's a true slammer bluefish. He's got to be about 14, 15 pounds. Stop when he's satisfied. <laughs> there we go. What's the difference between catching a hundred bluefish and a thousand, you know? <laughs> to a great day of fishing, man, you know? <laughs> to the cameraman, too.